dear daughter. That's the way we vampires used to behave in ages long past. Our ancestors would drain each other of blood instead of drinking it from Dracolon's organic rivers and streams. How barbaric. Yes, Vlad has slaughtered hundreds, perhaps thousands. It's no wonder I'm under pressure to resurrect the death penalty. I pray it won't come to that. Do you truly, Ella? Of course, Father. We're civilized people. We're not monsters like Vlad and his cult. Ella, I've raised you well, stepdaughter. But the council isn't so forgiving. And in the case of this Vlad, I can't say I blame them. What's that for? For being the wisest man at Draculon. And the fairest. I'll see you at mid-break. On your feet, lad. Council's ready for you. Relax, gentlemen. I'll come quietly. generations, we vampires have lived in harmony with nature, sustained by rivers brimming in rich, warm blood, our sacred sustenance. But always among us, there are wicked aberrations, savages such as you, Vlad. Not content with the plenty our civilization provides, you turn on your brother, feasting on his life force to increase your strength and prolong your years. Before I pronounce final judgment, is there anything you wish to say to this tribunal? I believe actions speak louder than words. Demos, tracks, well done. What kind of entertainment, Vlad? They dared to judge you, the fools. We sealed off the port. The ship is ready and waiting. No! Wait! Vlad, hurry! You were an honorable man, sir. Please, allow me the pleasure of letting you die dishonorably. Remember me as you rot in hell. This way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 
There. Third one from the sun. Primitive planet. It will serve our needs rather well. Partner. Adam Van Helsing, the prodigal son returns. Hey, you look healthy. Nice tan. Mate. Tan? It's that damn clearance beam in the elevator. How'd it go in Chinatown? False alarm. Another schizophrenic with delusional fantasies. Better than a new outbreak, though. This is no delusion. Carlos in Brazil is up to something. Turf war? Classic. <laughs> Ramirez says that, uh... Carlos is about to do something stupid any time now. Sounds like Carlos. Stay on top of it. Well, weather news. Check this out. Concluding its historic mission to Mars with a picture-perfect touchdown just three and a half hours ago. The entire crew and shuttle are doing just fine, or should I say A-OK, -okay, after the most ambitious exploration of the Red Planet ever attempted. Walsh, I read the paper. Shh. And no sooner had the craft landed, and this highly controversial photograph began circulating throughout the media. That. What's that flying out of the shuttle's open doorway? A smudge, a defect in the film, or perhaps a stowaway Martian who hitched a ride back to our planet? That's what some UFO experts are speculating ever since they saw the picture. Tell me I'm dreaming. Vampires from space. Look, in three years I've been assigned to the special unit. I've seen some weird shit. Well, maybe I need a vacation. Maybe I'm seeing bats in my sleep. But if that's a smudge, I'm Peter Pan. You're joking me! That's usually the general idea, asshole. How the hell do you expect me to do my graphics with this piece of crap, huh? What's the matter with you, huh? Things held sacred. Crap. Waste matter discharged from animal bowels. A popular slang for an extreme negative. You're speaking colloquial English. More or less. Go on, get out of here! Get help! Leave the boy alone. You don't want to mess with us, Miss TNA. Uh, it's a little messy in here. Um, uh, I, 
wasn't expecting to come here or anything. Uh, would you like someone to drink? I mean, something to drink. Sorry about that. Ackerman. Miss? Can you imagine what it's like to fall asleep? And when you wake up, it isn't the following morning or even later in the week. It's an eternity. 30 centuries separate me from everything I ever knew or loved. Sounds horrible. It is. Who did this to you? I did what was necessary. They had to be followed, tracked down. No matter how high the price, I was prepared to pay it. Understand? Sure. Well, no. All of them. Vlad, Demos, Trax. Trax? Professor Arnold Trax. Well, he's like the foremost debunker of supernatural phenomena in the country. Well, uh, California, anyways. See, exposing phony supernatural claims is a hobby of his. Do you have a photo of this man? Oh, I, I can do better than that. Come on, take a look. It's like the commercials say, it's a database you can sink your teeth into. I, I mean, computers are the best tool a researcher ever had. I know. I scanned all the history disks on the shuttle coming down here. That's how I learned your language. Uh-huh. Oh, here we go. Professor Arnold Trax, Berkeley. Night courses only. Author of the bestsellers Making Sense of the Supernatural and Vampirism, The Fallacy Exposed. This him? Yes. A place called Berkeley. Whoa, wait a second. Well, you can't go around like that. Why not? <laughs> That's why not. Do you have any idea how how gorgeous you are. <laughs> Here, put this on. Now, tell me, when you find this guy, Professor Trax, what are you gonna do to him? Kill him, of course. <laughs> of course. Look, do me a favor, when the cops catch up with you, leave my name out of this. Thank you. Thank you. You've been extremely helpful, Eggerman, and I truly appreciate it. Right. Good luck. Oh, I almost forgot something. Farewell. Ella. The vampire girl. Vamp. You home planet kingpins have been on top for a very long time. Maybe too long. You got fat and you got careless. So a young bud like me sees his chance and he takes it. I grab what I can grab. Nothing wrong with that, is there? You did the same thing as me when you was young. Fortunately for you, I am a reasonable man. Since you come to see me today to uh, hear my side, as you say. I assume that you, too, wish to be reasonable. You got balls, Carlos. I'll give you that. But you also have one tragic flaw. You don't respect your elders. <laughs> I see. No, you don't see. I've watched punks like you come and go for hundreds of years. Hungry little bloodsuckers with their eyes too big for their heads. I was here before your great, great, great grandparents were here. It was my people who gave birth to you wretches. <laughs> and this is how you repay us. My friend, you are one sick son of a bitch. Really, you need help. And I got news for you. None of the Big 12 
really believes that outer space bullshit of yours anyway. <laughs> you and that other psycho, Vlad, may be running things now, but you're no better than the rest of us. So why don't we just cut through it and get back down to business? Hmm. Good idea. Business-like enough for you, Carlos? Take him in the back. in front. Carlos must develop some class in his old age. There's a driver on the inside. Chacon, you take him down. You guys follow me. Go. having one of these in my living room. <laughs> to hell with you, Demos! To hell with you! <laughs> Don't do this, man! If you're going to kill me, kill me! <laughs> All at once, Carlos, where is the fun in that? smell something burning. Everybody freeze! Well, well, well. What have we got here? It's Demos, Vlad's number one boy, out in the daytime in a sunsuit. Very trendy. Hi, honey. <laughs> nah. Pretty much business as usual. I'm gonna be getting my things together and leaving in a few minutes. You want me to pick up anything at Super Saver? <laughs> okay, fine. I'll see you in a little bit. I love you, sweetheart. <clears throat> Tracks. Fragment of your sinful youth, Professor Trex. My stepfather was the High Elder of Draculon. You and your people murdered him. Yes, I remember. I'm sorry. Truly sorry. Then tell me where Vlad is. I don't know, I swear I don't. Vlad and I lost touch with each other ages ago. That's the truth. Your family? My current family, yes. Maybe I'll let them live. Then again. Maybe I won't.
talk, Demos. I'll tell you exactly nothing. Listen, Demos, we've been at this half the night. We know a lot about Vlad. What we don't know is his current identity and location. What we do know is that within the next week, he's planning something huge. <laughs> yes, Vlad's planning something. He's always up to something. If I were mortal, oh boy, I'd be really scared. Normally, this organization abhors torture and violence. But we are talking about our lives here. What are you going to do? What's in the needle, Van Helsing? Holy water. Blessed by the Pope himself. Unless you tell me who Vlad is and where Vlad is, I'm going to have to inject you with it. You ever see one of you bloodsuckers shot up with holy water, eh, Demos? Do you know what happens to you, son? You're going to turn into putrid jelly in 60 bitty bitty seconds. We'll have to use a mop to get you off the floor. You don't have the balls. And besides, without me, you have nothing. All right, well, we got Carlos, and he knows a thing or two. Carlos doesn't know shit, not the shit you want to know, nothing. And that is a chance we're going to have to take. Now, I'm going to count to five. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. No? Then you leave me no choice. May God have mercy on your soul. All right, all right, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. God damn it, get the needle out of my arm. Talk. Get the goddamn needle out of my arm, man. Who is Blah? Uh, who is Blah? Uh, God damn it, his name is Jamie Blood. Where's he operating out of? Come on, son. Where is he operating? Vegas, he's in Vegas. You will feel so lonely. Mind if I join you? I was counting on it. You've hit me like a ray of moonlight, Raven Hair. Where have you been all my life? I'm looking for you. 
Well, now that you found me, you're gonna bleed for me. So what do you call yourself? Vampirella. Vampirella? Yeah, yeah. I like it. But you're not really a vampire, are you? You never can tell, Mr. Blood. Mr. Blood? Come on. That's what the suits call me. My friends call me Jamie. Now, let's split this pin. He just left. He's got some babe with him dressed up hot. Meet us in the parking lot and prepare to pursue. Affirmative. It's all in how you look at things, Raven Hair. This place, it inspires me. My city, Raven Hair. Beautiful, isn't she? Come here. What's the problem? <laughs> Don't tell me you're a good girl. No. Not anymore. Then let's make the next one really count. You know what our weapons can do. Operation Purge. Am I right? Good work. So you're the son of Conrad Van Helsing. Now there was a legend for you. Too bad he's no longer with us. Of course, you all know how he died. Extend your arms. In front. That'll keep you in human form for a while. You think because I can't change into a bat that you can hold me? No. Not until you're dead and your ashes have been thoroughly vaporized will you be truly helpless. Even then, I wouldn't trust you. Cover her and put her in my transport. Sir, the woman isn't dead. She's only unconscious. Cuff her and put her in the van. Already done. Interrogate her when she comes to. I'll stop in periodically. His Majesty comes with me. Yes, sir. You mean she isn't one of yours? In the van. I owe the lady an apology. Helsing runs off with the real prize, and then sticks us with some run-of-the-mill vampire whore. Where are you taking me? Where's Vlad? Shut up. We'll ask the questions, bitch. And when we do, you better have answers. Explain something to me, Adam. You don't mind if I call you Adam. You know how old I am. You know how powerful I am. <laughs> Let's face it, compared with you people, I am a god! Do you really think you can hold me? 
It's all a matter of faith and confidence, Vlad. I have both. Really? Then tell me something, Adam. Does that compensate for having murdered your own father? No more talk. But I've already told you. Vlad is also my enemy. I lured him out of the club in order to destroy him. So you're on our side, is that it? Who are you kidding? Ever see the concentration pit back at headquarters? Mm -hmm. They save it for the most uncooperative captured specimens. I got a hunch. This one's for the pit. That ought to be some show. <laughs> Why don't you head on up front? I want to interrogate our little lady friend here in private. Just you, Raven Hair. I thought you were working with this. I've never seen him before. Allow me the pleasure. You're much stronger than I am. At the risk of sounding egotistical, I am stronger than anyone. Now, where was I? Ah. This is rather sad in a way. In another reality, I could have called you friend. In any reality, I call you scum. This is really going to hurt. I've come a long way for this, Vlad. Tonight you pay. Just who do you think you're talking to? Dracula, bitch! I am Vlad! Dracula Eternal! The most powerful vampire on this or any other planet! You will not destroy me, Ravenhair! I will engulf you, body and soul, in my own time. Oh, Vampirella, help me. No, oh, I'm fine. It's uh, <laughs> nothing serious. Uh, we lost a few good men tonight, Walsh. Yeah, I know, I know. No, I don't agree. Matter of fact, we may have gained something significant tonight. Yeah, I'll let you know in the morning. Yes, I will try to get some sleep. Okay. Good night, Walsh. Your superior? My partner. Partner in crime. Tell me about Operation Purge, Van Helsing. 
purchase a covert paramilitary unit formed by my late father. We protect our race from a race of bloodthirsty creatures capable of some pretty astonishing things. We believe innocent people have rights. What about my rights? My rights as a rational being. Is that what you are? <sighs> this is what I am. And this is who I am. One and the same. A vampire? Yes. And of course we're bloodthirsty. That's what we live on. Well, you live on other people. No. Only on this planet is vampirism a mockery of itself. That's Vlad's doing. My stepfather's people were noble. They'd sooner die than taste innocent blood. And you? What keeps you alive? Vengeance. And something I was told in another life. A dream is realized, daughter. A serum substitute. For blood? A high-quality synthetic nutrient. Our scientists developed it to serve the drought-stricken southern provinces. I've micro-sized a lifetime supply and attached it to this armband. Thank you, Mother. I know that you don't approve, but this journey is something that I have to do. I know. As hard as it is for me to lose both of you, I agree with your decision. This is the real you. Not some bookish schoolgirl trying to measure up to your father's ideals. But a woman of action. We'll see. I followed Vlad halfway across the galaxy to your star system. But my shuttle ran afoul of an iron cloud before reaching Earth. I was forced to land on the orb you call Mars. It would be my home for the next 30 centuries. Finally, less than a week ago, Explorers from a third planet, your planet, set foot upon the fourth. Searching for signs of life, they entered a cave where I'd placed myself in a deep sleep. They carried my life support system into their ship and began the long voyage home. You got a 4.4 deviation on the return trajectory. Roger. Motion detectors revived me, and I rose from a trance-like rest. Did you hear that? No. You didn't hear that? No. Did you ever see It, the Terror from Beyond Space? No. Why? Could be our passenger. Let's hope so. I hypnotized the crew, making them completely forget about their discovery. When the shuttle landed, I changed into a bat and flew away. The rest, you know. Plot. Dracula. You're saying he's an extraterrestrial. He took the name from his native world when he lived as a count in your Carpathian mountains. Vampirism itself. Comes from the stars. Vlad murdered my stepfather. He desecrated and perverted everything the High Elder stood for. Everything. I'm sorry. 
I understand how you're feeling, believe me. But whatever your feelings are about Purge, you have to admit one thing. We are committed to destroying Vlad, maybe as much as you. Are you suggesting we work together? Maybe I am. Consider the advantages. Vlad is up to something major, we think apocalyptic. All of humanity may be threatened. You forget. I was born a vampire. I won't betray my own people. If they're his disciples, they can't be your people. from Vlad yet? Negative. Mr. Russo and Mr. Rice just confirmed their arrival for tomorrow night. That accounts for all the Big 12. Vlad will be pleased. I'll call you when I need you, Quinn. Let's just say it's been a difficult night. Tell me. To begin with, my cover is blown. Jamie Blood rocks no more. Who betrayed you? Demos. Who else? And Helsing's stormtroopers must have forced it out of him. If they have Demos, maybe we should delay our plans for Judgment Night. We have waited too long for this night. We will just get him back. That's all. <laughs> A raid on Purge? <laughs> yes. That would be nice. But I was thinking of something more on the line of an exchange. Lieutenant Owen Walsh, co-director, Purge Operations. And Helsing here is uh, very important to us. Thanks for saving his life. So now. So, uh, Adam tells me you're an ET. That's right. Vlad's an alien, too. And Demos. But when they entered Earth's atmosphere 30 centuries ago, conditions in space were very different. We verified that with Caltech this morning. Something in your atmosphere caused irreversible metabolic changes in them. They mutated into what I call pseudo-vampires. Their bite infects rather than kills, transforming their victims into one of them. And along with that comes the inability to endure daylight. These are not Draculonian traits. What about the reaction to that? Icons of Christianity have no effect on normal Draculonians. As you can see. <laughs> well, subtlety has never been my long suit. You can ask 
Excuse me, Lieutenant. Um, you wanted to check this over before we began preliminary testing? I'll catch you later, Professor. Right. Wait a minute. What? Isn't that the sun gun? Uh, sure is. Charged in. Ready to sizzle. I wanted Vampirella to see that. It's a new high-intensity assault weapon we've been developing. But hey, it's your baby, Professor. You go ahead. Uh, right. Well, generally speaking, it's a refinement of the clearance beam principle, the application of artificial sunlight. It recharges itself automatically. It's the ideal field weapon. May I? Sure. It's a prototype, of course. The only one we've assembled, but it is fully functional. Uh, it's pretty much the idea. Tell me, Steinman, what exactly does this thing do to your victims? Oh, it, it, it emits a piercing beam of solarite, which literally burns through the skin and, and bores right through the internal organs. Hmm. Sounds painful. Harmless to humans, of course. Of course. I, uh, promised our guest a guided tour. See you later, partner. What was that all about? Trouble. It wasn't until the feds came into the picture that Purge became a vital state-of-the-art defense unit. We recruited from all over, especially law enforcement. Guys like Walsh made the transition much better than expected. He's very suspicious, isn't he? Well, in his line, he has to be. State gun. Purge operative's best friend. Right down to the 9 millimeter silver tip wooden stake. Techs can get inside. You bang on it all you want. Stuff is as tough as steel. Oh, excuse me for a minute. You know, I think you're out of your mind. I don't give a damn who knows it. Oh, come on, Owen. We've disagreed before. I believe her. You don't. You're damn right I don't. Mutated virus from another galaxy. She's a genetic freak engineered by Vlad to spy on us. No, she isn't. To seduce you? No. Oh, what? Analyze this. Van Prella says there's enough artificial blood in that one vial to feed a whole city of vampires. Food for thought, huh? Adam, son. Slow. But your father's gone. You're the last of the Van Helsings. We can't afford to lose you, too. Vampirella. If you've seen enough of Operation Purge, I can take you back to the hotel. Thank you. Of course he didn't trust you. He wouldn't be Walsh if he did. Hey. Very nice. I sketched it this morning. It's Draculon. Paradise Lost. Not entirely. Adam, last night you said you understood what I was feeling. What did you mean by that? Well, like your father, my father was a victim of Vlad's. I'm so sorry. How did Vlad... He didn't. You know how my family has battled vampirism for generations. Vlad thought it would be the height of irony if he transformed my father into one of his own. He did. 
And so with my father's eyes looking into mine. Do it, son. His hands clenching my hands, I do it. Plunge the stake through his heart. What you did was an act of love and courage. I may be nuts for saying this, but things are moving a little too fast. Adam, hmm. the door will always be open for you. I better get going. Lance, people called this morning. They want to swap Adam and Demos. You are going to do it. No, you're going to do it. More of their instructions. They want the operative, Vampirella, to deliver the goods personally. I'm going to hand it to you. You and Vlad. Adam didn't stand a chance. You're wrong. Am I? Well, I'm fed up with your lies. You can take this, whatever it is, and choke on it. Walsh, don't be a fool. All right. I'm turning Demos over to your custody. We're going to do this thing by the numbers. And I swear to God, if anything happens to Adam, anything at all, there's nowhere in this world you can hide. Wait for us here. Different kind of graveyard. Move. <laughs> oh, you come a long way, baby. Tell me, you plan on killing all of us? Me, Vlad, Sala, Trax? You can scratch Trax off the list. What? Just shut up. Good evening. Adam? It's me. I'm all right. I'm not hurt. You must be Vampirella. Got a message for you from Vlad. He'd like to see you again. He wants me to invite you to go back with us. He gives his word that you won't be harmed or detained in any way, in case you want to leave. That's very reassuring. Well, thank you. I'll pass your compliments on to Vlad when I see him. <laughs> now let's get down to business. Ben Helsing. I'll see you next time, beautiful. put me through the past couple of days. Adam, you okay? Yeah, it's nothing serious. Just my ego's been hurt. I thought I'd never see you again. Kill Van Helsing. No, wait, wait. Where's the real Adam Van Helsing? Safely under lock and key. And don't get so holier than thou with us. According to this little gizmo, you got a miniature homing device in your armband. Walsh, you son of a bitch! Perch gunman right there! Hands in the air! Everybody! Sir, we nailed two of them. Three got away, including Vampirella. She could be airborne, following them directly to Vlad. So what if she is? Adam believed in her. 
think I was wrong, don't you? You think I should have told her about the homing device? What else do I think, Lieutenant? We're running out of time. We may have a global nightmare on our hands unless we can locate and neutralize Vlad's nerve center. She veered off when we got here. She's somewhere in the compound. I know it's her. It's all right, Quinn. But if she knows our location, then she's going to tell the Purge. <laughs> she will not make the mistake of trusting Purge twice. She'll come for me. It's in her nature. Now, go and make sure General Demos is comfortable. Yes, sir. Demos, my strong right arm, back at last. All in one piece? No stake through the heart? No, but uh, they tortured me, Vlad. Those turds, biotechs can be such sadistic sons of bitches. But you stood up to them, didn't you? You didn't crack, did you? Not Vlad's strong right arm. Danger! No! No, hell no. But they tried to, to break me, as I said, but they could not. Salah. Vlad, I'm sorry. They asked me for that. I had to give it to them. You can see that. Enough of your excuses. This is the eve of war, General Demos. The Big Twelve await our briefing. Yeah. Sure, Vlad, whatever, whatever you say. My esteemed guests, men of extraordinary power and vision, Men who I love as a father loves his own children. I welcome you to this table. Chairman Vlad, speaking for all of us, it is the greatest of honor to be here with you tonight at the dawn of a new era. Yeah, thank you, Chairman. Thank you. To judgment night, gentlemen. now to business. This war that you support but know nothing about will begin in less than 24 hours. General Demos is our central link to vampire colonies and armies around the world. While Salah, dear Salah, is in charge of base operations. And I, I play a very special role in tomorrow's epic drama. Gentlemen, there are 10 of these Draculonian satellites orbiting the planet, each one cloaked by a screen of bioreflective plasma. For several years, we have used them to scan planetary events and advance our own interests. But tomorrow night, gentlemen, these satellites will yield the greatest of their services. At my command, each satellite focusing on a different portion of this planet will irradiate that portion with a unique carbon-based particle beam. These beams will have the same effect on the Earth's atmosphere as a limited nuclear winter, blocking out all sunlight for a significant period of time. During that time, gentlemen, 
We will have the advantage over our enemy for the first time in this planet's history. I haven't been inside a church in close to 40 years. Funny. Considering how many times a cross has saved my life while on duty. Lord, it's hard for me to ask for help. But we're in deep, deep trouble here. And maybe most of it's my fault. I'm not sure what to make of this Vampirella woman. But I know that Vlad is up to something big. Please, God, give us a hand. Don't let this planet go to the devil. This cult is weird, man. Up all night, sleep all day. What's your gripe, man? Gig's a gig. Beats walking out at the supermarket. That's all I know. Hey, uh, hey. <clears throat> Jose, Jose. I'm sorry to disappoint you, Ravenair. I know how much you wanted to kill me. What have you done with Adam Van Helsing? I invited you here to discuss your future with us. As the last pure Draculonian, you belong with the New World Order. You have no future. She's too dangerous, Vlad. Kill her. No. Take her to the young doctor. Maybe he will find a way to change her mind. Adam! Don't worry. He's alive. Just not even in condition anymore. You bastards. Speaking of lineage, tell us a little about yourself, Vampirella. Or is it Ella, stepdaughter of the High Elder? Actually, it's neither. She's a barbarian infant from the Kulai Wastelands, a region not far from my own. What are you saying? That we're related somehow? Even more than that. Our immortal souls are the same. I sensed it the first time we met. So did you. No! Move again and I'll blow the doctor's face off. You'll become terribly thirsty in the next few hours. Without this, or fresh blood. Will die before midnight. Fresh blood, Vampirella. Nothing artificial. Straight from the source. Vlad, don't do this. Forgive me, Vampirella. It's the only way I can be absolutely sure that you are one of us. I'll send for you when it's time. Bon appetit. Electrical storm coming up. Our fault. Transmission feedback is disrupting the atmosphere. 
Creating the proper atmosphere, more like it. Perfect for tonight. Now, start the countdown. No! Wait. I'll do it. So the world changes hands. Van Helsing and his people will never know what hit them. Carry on. Now, a good day's sleep before our hour of triumph. <laughs> Lieutenant, we just received a message to your attention. Read it to me. By the time you read this, I will have had my crack at Vlad. If I succeed and he is destroyed, we can all rejoice. But if I fail, only Purge under your command can stop him. It'll be your show, Walsh. Good luck. It's signed E.T. There's an address in Nevada. I'll be damned. Get Fisher on the phone and then get back to my office ASAP. You're what? going with me this time, Bob. What? Thank you, Lord. I owe you one. Yes. There, Barella. Adam, take oh. it easy. You've been hurt. What happened? Where are we? We're trapped in one of lead cells. And it's judgment night. Well, what's he planning to do with us? Well, to begin with, he wants you drained of every last drop of blood. Well, there's no surprise there. No, but he wants me to do the honors. He took my serum pack. And without nourishment, after a 24-hour cycle, I revert. I completely lose control. Even now, I can hear the blood pumping through your veins. I can smell it. I can taste it. I hope this is strong enough to hold me. Varela, you'll die after 24 hours if you haven't been refreshed with blood. At least I'll die a friend. Dangerous. Some things are worth any danger. into a hospitable environment for our people will take time and sacrifice. But I believe in you and your potential. Every one of you. Believe in me, your holy father and protector. And all dreams are possible. We believe in you, Master. And Judgment Night. Judgment Night! Judgment Night! Judgment Night! Center, gentlemen. This is Corbett. <clears throat> Mr. Nakamichi, this is General Demos. 
is all in readiness. Affirmative, General. Please tell Vlad we await his final instructions. Excellent. Demos out. You see, gentlemen, it's the same. Everywhere in the world, they wait on Vlad's command. Then, it's goodbye, humanity. You will feel so lonely and joy. Listen to me. You have to have blood or you'll die. Drink. Just enough to stay alive. You won't ask me why I came before. You won't need your old friends anymore. Come on, please, follow me. Come on to me, come on to me, please. Won't be long now. Come with us. The master wishes to see you. Did I miss something? It won't be out for long. Come on. Sir, trucks approaching from the northeast. I knew it. Now get your people ready. Shut up! This is Quinn! Hate to disturb you, but we have a slight problem out here. Handle it. Send in the troops if you have to. Don't bother me here, Quinn. Yeah. You look a sight. Vampirella. She's doing what she came here to do. After 30 centuries, she's finally gonna nail Vlad. Oh no. Cool.
You were right, Father. Vengeance drove me to this distant planet. But something even stronger holds me here. Although Vlad is dead, his children of the night live on. Perhaps in time, they will renounce his legacy of hate and learn to live in harmony with the humans of this world. Perhaps it's my destiny to show them the way.